Okay, so we're going to take what we practiced over the last two days. Remember what we talked about. We used inverse operations. And when we're solving multi-step equations or two-step equations, we still use inverse operations, but there tends to be an order that we go in. We're going to start off with this relatively simple example of 10 is equal to 6 minus 2x. When you look at this problem, you want to identify where the variable is, but the variable number, the number that's with the variable, what we call the coefficient, it's going to stay there for the first step. We're going to address the other number. I kind of think of it as like the unattached number. It's just out there in the problem, and it's really a like term with the other number that's on the other side of the equation. 10 and 6 are like terms. Would you guys agree with that? Neither of them have the variable. So when I see this 6, it's a positive 6. It's got an invisible plus sign in front of it because it's another invisible in math. What's the opposite of, pos of positive 6? Negative. We're going to do the negative 6 on both sides. 10 minus 6 gives us 4. And on the right side of the equation, what does that leave us with? Negative 2x. Negative 2x. Now we're down to a 1 step. This time I see multiplication, so I'm going to do division. We have to be careful because what was the major mistake we saw on our entry task today? People forgetting about the negative, right? When you divide, you're not just dividing by 2, you're dividing by negative 2. And I'm going to draw my triangle here again that we talked about earlier. This is just a quick visual reminder that I can cover up the symbols I'm working with when I divide or multiply. And I've got a positive 4 divided by a negative 2. So that triangle is reminding me that my answer is going to be negative. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so negative 2 is equal to x. I can go back and check. Hold that for a sec, okay? 10 is equal to 6 minus 2 times negative 2. Order of operations says that I have to do what first? Um, parentheses. parentheses, but this parenthesis is just there to show that it's multiplication, right? So what's negative 2 times negative 2? Negative four. Positive 4. And 6 plus 4 does equal 10, so it checks. Question? No. Yes, the recording does hear you. Okay. Who feels okay about a problem like that? Let's try one that has division in it to begin with. We're going to do x over 7 plus 2 equals 2. Again, we see division, but we also see addition. And when we have multi-step problems, we want to get rid of the numbers that are not with the variable first, and then deal with the number that's attached to the variable. Right now, the 7 as a denominator is attached to the variable, so we're going to ignore it in our first step, and we're going to go to this 2. What's the inverse of positive 2? And then I have x over 7 is equal to what? Mm -hmm. Anybody want to guess what this is going to end up? Because now I have x over 7, which really is 1x over 7. It's invisible, right? So the reciprocal of that is going to be 7 over 1. And then I'm going to multiply the same thing on both sides. On the left side, 7 times 1 over 1 times 7 is going to be 7 over 7, which is an invisible 1, leaving us with x. 0 times 7 is? 0. We can go back and check. 0 over 7 plus 2 equals 2. Well, what is 0 divided by 7? 0. Is just 2 equal 2? Yes. Then yeah. it checks. Wait, 
told you how to do it. Wait, 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 wait. You can't divide by zero, but zero can be divided. Wait, a part of me is saying that that doesn't make sense because, like, uh, two, how is it not like one real, I mean, one more or seven? Like, you know what I mean? That would be a different problem. Hold, hold that thought until after I finish the recording. Okay, I want us to only practice the one, the two-step problems today, and we will continue tomorrow with multi-step. So you guys are going to have a pretty short assignment, and we have about nine minutes left. So just here in your book, I want you to put 2-3. This will go on to another piece of paper. You should be keeping 2-1, 2-2, two, 2-3. Two, 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 we'll check your work in class. You keep it to study for the chapter test, okay? I don't collect it all. And today, this is starting on page 96. I want you to do problems one through six, and then 24 through 29. It's not very many problems, but it'll give us a sense of where we are before I throw in the multi-step that's more than two. Okay.